introduction to what's called current density and uh, Ampere's law. And so what's set up here is you've got this um, long straight wire. This wire is going out into the distance. It's got a two centimeter radius and it's, it's carrying current. Um, but instead of just giving you a current in so many amperes or so on, it says that, uh, it's giving you a current density. So current per area. So this thing J represents what's called current density. And it says it's 0.5 amps per centimeter squared. So what that means is there's current flowing through it, and it, but it's uniformly distributed throughout the area of the wire. Um, so, you know, coming out all, you know, toward you everywhere. Um, so it's kind of evenly distributed and pointing kind of right at your face, like out of this thing. And what we're supposed to do is find the total current coming out of the wire and the magnetic field everywhere, meaning inside and outside the wire. Um, so the first part, um, pretty easy to get the total current. Um, so let's do that part first, so total current. You notice this is just current per area, so, uh, and it's uniform, so no need for anything too fancy here. We just can do current per area times area. Um, so the current itself is just going to be current per area, then times the area. So the current per area, we have 0.5 uh, amps per centimeter squared. And then times, uh, and then the radius is two centimeters, so it's going to be pi r squared. So pi times um, two squared, um, and then uh, centimeters. And then that's going to be in units of centimeter squared by the time you, you do that. So two squared is four, half of that is two, so it's going to be uh, two pi uh, amperes. So there's like 6.28 amps coming out of this coming out of this thing coming this way. Um, then what we're supposed to do is get the magnetic field everywhere. And so here what we're going to want to do is uh, the easiest way is to use what's called Ampere's Law. Um, so let, what we're going to do is get the field uh, inside first. We'll do that first. That was total current, field inside. Um, so what you want to do is you've got all this current coming toward you. So you know the, the field is going to swirl around it like this. So what we want to do is make our Empyrean loop inside the, the wire, kind of centered here, at the center of the wire, and we'll just give it an arbitrary radius, because the idea is we want to be able to find it at all different radii. And uh, so there's our, our Empyrean loop, a little chunk DL, let's say point along the loop, and it turns out the magnetic field then points in the same direction as DL. So here would be like DL, and here would be B, the magnetic field. Um, and so what we can do is let's put down Ampere's law. So integral around a closed loop of B dot DL equals mu naught um, times the I enclosed, the current enclosed. Well, B and DL are parallel to each other, so it's just the integral of B times DL. Um, and also, so B dot DL just becomes BDL, but also B is going to be constant all along this loop, at least in magnitude. So that would come out, so you'd have B times basically the integral of all the DLs equals mu naught times. Now this is, we want to know how much current is inside of this, um, inside of the circle. Well, that's just going to be current per area times area. Well, we're given the current per area. It's, uh, it's 0.5 amps per centimeter squared. So here's our, our current per area. Okay, but then our area is going to be um, pi r squared. With an arbitrary r, because right, the, the amount of current we capture actually depends on r. Um, Right, so, um, so we should be able to get this. And so then we have B times, now the integral DL, that just means add up all the DLs. Well, that's just gonna give you the entire circumference. So that's gonna be B times two pi R equals mu naught um, times pi over two R squared. So you notice the enclosed current actually depends on radius, which makes sense because as you make this circle bigger, you're gonna capture more and more current. Um, well, so you notice the R would cancel with this uh, R squared and then divide the two pi under, 
And so what you get is B uh, equals, well the pi's cancel too. Um, so it looks like we get mu naught over four. Um, and then since it circulates around in this way, um, uh, in, in a clockwise direction, what people will do is they'll say that it points in the phi hat direction. Um, so that swirls around this way. Um, oh, and I forgot a factor of r, mu naught r over four. Um, so the field grows with radius uh, until you get to the out, until you get to the outside. So mu naught, yeah, mu naught times r over four, uh, pointing in the phi hat direction. When we go to get the field outside, the only thing that changes is our Ampereian loop is going to be out here, right? So if you look at our previous work, so let's let's quick do this down here. This is going to be B outside, right? The left hand side is going to be exactly the same because you'll have you'll have uh, D L and B pointing in the same direction out here. Right, so, so the left-hand side of Ampere's law is going to be the same. Um, so that's good. the left-hand side is going to be b times 2 pi r. Now the difference is the amount of current that we enclose doesn't, now, doesn't anymore depend on the radius of our Ampereian loop. We have all of it, and we already know that the enclosed um, current, the entire current, was 2 pi amps. So this would be mu naught times 2 pi, mu naught i enclosed. Um, and so now we can just straight away solve for the field. So the two pi's just slash away, and we get that the magnetic field is going to be um, mu naught over r. It's going to fall off like one over r, um, and again be in the phi hat direction, meaning pointing, um, swirling clockwise around this thing. Right. So that's our first example using uh, current density in Ampere's law. This was a um, uniform current density, so we really didn't need to do any any fancy math to figure out how much um, current was in there. Uh, next, we'll look at an example where you do have to do that.